How do we get home? Your Highness, er, Princess, we... Please call me Marley. Well then, Marley, observe. Ho! Oh, I have this little starship uh, cane. What the fuck is it? Wow. So stupid looking, yet so useful. Luca, you're amazing. Ain't it the truth? <laughs> oh, um, I mean... Enough of the false modesty. You have a real gift. It would trade my, I would trade my loyal ancestry for your genius in a heartbeat. Well, if you say so. Anyway, I call this thing a gate. You don't say. <laughs> How simple. It's a kind of portal that takes you to the same location in a different era. Gates are very unstable, so I use the principle behind my telepod device. To create a gate key. Hey, gate key! Now we can now we can use them as we please. By the way, this <clears throat> by the way, by <clears throat> but why did this gate suddenly appear? Either the telepod had something to do with it, or something else made it. Hmm, that's a thinker. This is getting pretty weird, but at least but at but at least head back to our own time. All right, Chrono, coming? Coming, Chrono? Oh, yeah. Of course I'm coming. I'm gonna stay in this era. I'd rather stay here. Fuck my own era. <laughs> ding, 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 ding. Whew. Oh, nice. A little gate stays there. Whew, we're back. Chrono, Luca, why don't you come with me to the castle? I'd like, I'd like you, <clears throat> you to come over for dinner. Dinner! Yeah! A royal dinner! Sorry for putting you through all that, Marley. She's walking in place, what the fuck? Are you joking? That's the most fun I had in months. And I have a few new friends, too. Chrono, be a gentleman and take her home. I've got some work to do. See you soon, Luca. Okay, I'm just gonna stand here. Will you escort me home, Chrono? Oh, ho, ho, ho. Well, she's back in the group. Let's see. Ah, uh, <laughs> Luca has the maiden suit. Marley should have it. After all, she is a princess. Why the fuck not? Ah, caught. Uh. Oh, I just realized I have silver points. Might as well try to play around a bit with them. I think there was some little mini game thing here, wasn't there? What is this? Welcome to the Welcome to the Nos Norstein Belkles lab. The spine tingling show is about to start. Why are you nothing but a head and hands? <laughs> what is this thing? A puppet? How many silver points do you like to play? I guess I'll be saving to play ten. So this is I'm Vix. I'm Wedge. I'm Piet. Please tell me. Ah, oh, fuck! I wasn't keeping my eye on Vix. Fuck. Which one? Yeah, I guessed. It is that obvious. Ah, it will spruce up your room. Pointless, but cool. <laughs> It'll actually show up in my room. Let me check that out. Where's my house? Is it residence? Is it Chrono's house? There it is. Let me see. Aw, oh, there it is! Does it have anything? Aw, oh, it plays a sad melody. I'm not gonna do my homework. Hey Marley, wanna do my homework for me? I don't know anything about calculus. I'm fucking royalty. Oh, yeah. I guess I take you back. I have my own personal princess. Hey, mushrooms. I'm just gonna avoid. Actually, let's fight them. Mushrooms, biatches. Oh fuck, I'm hurt. Oh. 
Ow! Five fucking damage? You fucking pricks! Damn mushroom fuckers! All right, we destroyed some mushrooms. Now let's eat them, and hopefully hallucinogens will kick in. Ho ho! And hopefully they're not poison. You know, not kill us. <laughs> the fuck? Oh no, it's an alarm! What bugs are those? Ah, take that, you beetle. Being attacked by giant beetles? This is like fucking Ark the Lad all over again. Why does it always have to be fucking beetles, snakes, and spiders and shit? Always the fucking beetles and critters. The fuck? It's a... It's a poly or whatever they're called. I'm just running around being in that case. Hmm. Let's see, can I squeeze between you fuckers? There you go. Princess Nadia! Are you alright? Where have you been? I've heard you were abducted. We had soldiers searching for you. Scoundrel! You are the one! Huh? You are the one, huh? Kidnapping the Princess Nadia? No! Kronos! Admit it! You confused her and tried to take her oh, take over the throne! Terrorist! The most overused word in this fucking century. <laughs> so stop it! Terrorist! Dirty terrorist! You're Al Qaeda! <laughs> She's trying to open up for a hug for those guys. Stop this at once! Oh shit! <laughs> Crippled us. What are you doing? But Princess Nadia said to Idiots! Detain him! Oh, holy shit! They were on him really quickly. Oh no, the fucking trial scene. <laughs> Stained glass window. Is this supposed to be one of the wise men? The wise men of whatever world this is called. Realistic looking crowd, except they're cloned from left side to right. I am the Chancellor, the Prosecutor. I'm the lawyer, Pierre. Never trust a Pierre. <laughs> Members of the court. We now bring forth the defendant Chrono, who has charged with abducting Princess Nadia. What shall we do with him? Fire, perhaps? Hanging him upside down for a few years? Or shall we employ the guillotine? Iron Maiden! Excellent! You, the jury, shall decide his fate. Now, let us begin. Chrono, you are hereby ordered to tell the truth. Chrono is charged with premeditated abductory of royalty. The question is, did he kidnap Princess Nadia? The answer? No, he did not. He, in fact, no abduction took place. The two met completely by accident. In fact, the princess asked Chrono to s if she could join him. Oh, is this true? Who actually started this whole mess? Um, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna say, uh, Marley did? Well, she did. I, she bumped into me. <laughs> Are you sure? We have a witness who say you were the one who bumped into the princess. Well, she ran into me. How do you, de how do you determine that with... In a game like this. Princess then innocently followed you to Luca's little sideshow. Whereupon you both disappeared. If it hasn't if it wasn't a criminal abduction, I don't know what is. And I have a <clears throat> and I have facts that throw the defendant's character into question. Objection! Objection! This can't be <clears throat> this can't have any relevance whatsoever to this case. Care to respond, Chancellor? Chrono's character is at the very core of this case. 
We have nothing to hide. We have a witness of a little girl who vouched for the character of the defendant.